Hey who, it's Ali BC here. And today is the first part of a seven part series on the Jim Bell upscale knockoff of Generation Toys Gravity Builder, aka a third party version of IDW Devastator. This video is on Scraper, aka Scrapper. Very creative with the name there. So here he is in his front loader mode. It's a nice bright lime green, with only a small amount of purple peeking through. There are a few hazard stripes across the side that add some nice detailing. It's got some light and dark silver paint across it, as well as some grey and black plastic. There is this ladder and this railing. There is an exhaust at the back here and one down here. This is actually the gun storage. It's got some quite large wheels. The windows on the cockpit are translucent, but these ones on the side just have plain plastic behind them. Each arm for the scoop is on two hinges and two ratchets, one at the base and one at the scoop itself. You can get it into all the poses that realistically it needs to do. For comparison, here is Earthrise Optimus Prime and trailer, Siege Voyager Megatron, his movie counterpart studio series Voyager Scrapper, a modern leader vehicle Kingdom Ultra Magnus, a Lego minifigure, my previous Transformers video Kingdom Scorponaut, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. It's an appropriately sized vehicle mode. Now for transformation. Start by coming underneath, detaching these pieces and just pulling out the gun. Then you want to come to the sides here and detach these pieces. Just move the scoop back. Now you can split this open. Unclip this as well as this big panel here. You can then turn this whole section around. Flip this section up and this can plug in there. You can then flatten out the foot. You can then fold this ratchet down. You can then flip this round and it will tab into place. Then straighten out this piece and that can just fold down like that. Fold this down, spin it around and then fold it back in. Then just fold this up. Then swing this around, straighten it out. Take this piece and it will fold up here. Flip this open, the hand will fall out. There is a slider here that you can push the hand into place with. Next, untab this. Then the wheel will fold back on a double hinge and that will just sit up on it like that. Finally, you fold this down and flip up the head and then close it back up. And here is Scrapper in his robot mode. He has very loose ankles. This is clearly stylized. Definitely isn't G1. But also isn't all that accurate to his IDW design either. That's not to say he looks bad though. This design does work really well. The green and purple mix nicely with each other. And the silver accents look great. The head definitely looks like scrap, but it is a little generic. It also has light piping. The shins don't tab in very well. They are very, very loose. The giant scoop behind the head adds a lot to the silhouette and makes him look a lot bigger and more threatening. It does contribute to the large amount of kibble on the back though. Now this is how the wheels are supposed to be done, sat on the back like this, but it leaves the arm sort of unstable with this hinge here and this all flopping about. I personally prefer to leave this clipped in and then to have the wheels angled out like this. Not only are the arms more stable like this, but I feel it just looks better, makes him look a bit wider. He of course still has his gun. The handle isn't five millimeters since it is an upscale. It also sucks at staying in his hand. The end of the gun is giant for some reason. More articulation. There is a ball joint at the head as well as this hinge to get some more down. The arms can go all the way around, this far out, elbow bend, bicep swivel, wrist swivels, opening hands, waist swivel, legs can go forward this far. Oh, careful about popping off these, that just flew off somewhere. Back this far, but if you move the kibble out the way, it can go further. This far out, thigh swivel, knee bend, ankle pivot, and a huge toe down. Don't worry, I found it. The posing is pretty good, but as it wasn't designed to be this big, some of the joints just don't work properly, like the heels from earlier. For comparison, here is Earthrise Optimus Prime, Siege Megatron, his movie counterpart studio series Voyager Scrapper, a modern leader vehicle Kingdom Ultra Magnus, a Lego minifigure, my previous Transformers video Kingdom Scorponok, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. When it comes to robot mode, this is definitely more meant for masterpiece than it is for chuck. But since two of the three modes are in a scale I like, I'm perfectly fine with it. I kind of like how big they are anyway. I do think this figure is pretty nice. I, I do like it, but it does have a few Laws. All six of them were 150, so I can't complain that much. And the end result that you'll see in part seven. Whew. Of course, you could always just go and look at my top 10 of 2022 and you'll see it there. But that's it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. My links are in the description. So I guess that's Salu BC out.
Next time is another flyer.